So we have taken this, we still don't have a name for it yet. We've taken this four-wheeled off-road wheelchair. There's been a lot of suggestions for the Cambry. We can't name it after you. Anyway, we've taken it 38 miles on a single charge, which is pretty impressive. The only problem was at the end of the ride, we went through a thorn patch and it flattened three of the tires. Just three. Just three. So I have gone through and I've put a liner between the tire and the tube, and that's what we're gonna show you today. Do you wanna do the snap thing? Let's get started. Oh shoot, I messed it up. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. So the thing with tires is that the rubber on top is pretty thick, but if something punctures through that rubber and gets to the inner tube, air will slowly leak out. So there's a couple different ways to keep that from happening. The first line of defense is with a Tuffy liner. My buddy Brax has one of those. And we put that in between the tire and the inner tube. And then inside of the inner tube, we can put something called slime, but we'll deal with that later. All right, let's get that tire off. So the thing we're doing right now is removing that outer rubber tire from the rim. Normally we would be able to keep the inner tubes that we had previously, but when Cambry went over the thorn patch, each tire got punctured like 20 times. So I feel like the better option for us right now is just replace that inner tube. So really the hardest part of getting it off is the initial seat right here. Once this part's off, it's a lot easier to pull the tube out and get the other side off. All you gotta do is just put a little pressure on and it's off. Before we put the Tuffy liner or the inner tube underneath this tire, we're gonna take, cause obviously she ran over a bunch of thorns and they're still poking through here, little niblets of them. So I'm gonna take my finger and just kinda run it along the underside and make sure there's nothing sharp still poking down into the tube. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Tuffy liner, put it in here. If anything punctures it, it's gonna hit the Tuffy lining first before it actually goes in and hits the tube. The Tuffy liners, they come in all different sizes. This is a 26 by four, uh, but you can get them for really any standard size tire. Putting the liner in, just slides in, and then it's just gonna wrap around the entire tire. So the Tuffy liner doesn't stay in place all by itself. It needs the tube inside the tire to kind of pin it between the sidewall. And then I just kind of hold it up like this and make sure feeling the liner on either side all the way around, making sure it's centered right on the treads. So with fat tires, they're a little bit harder, yet also a little bit easier to get them on the rim. I've found that it's easiest to lift up the rim, tuck the tire underneath. Sometimes you can use like two screwdrivers for this to keep it in place. And I'll just work my way around. Perfect. Okay, so now we have the brand new inner tube in, the liner between the tire and the tube itself, and now we're gonna put slime inside of the tire, which is pretty cool. I'm taking the valve stem out. There we go. Okay, it's a valve stem. It keeps the air in the tire. So we're taking it out to put some slime in. Slime is interesting because it stays liquid all the time and it's just gonna be a puddle of slime inside of your tire. And if your tire ever does get punctured, the slime fills the little puncture hole and uh, plugs it so the air doesn't escape. Valve stem is back in place. So the slime is inside the inner tube right now, and we're just gonna kind of like coat the inside of the tube with it. And now we can fill the tire up with there and put it back on the bike. We're set. Once everything's back into place, drive it like, I don't know, like quarter of a mile, make sure all the slime's good and coated. And so that is how you protect your tires against being flat when your driver likes to go through patches of thorns. Do you feel safe that your tires are gonna be intact now? Yeah, I've got dual protection, liner and slime. Liner and slime. Huge thanks to Brax for helping me out with this project. If, you haven't, if you haven't seen his channel yet, I'll leave it linked right here. And uh, thanks, Tom, for watching. I'll see you around. Peace.